is Monkey 1000 and I have my mother with me today again. We did decide to get the eyebrow one. I did do the facial one. So I picked this up the other day so I thought maybe this would be cool to try on her. <laughs> yes, you notice I've been using her instead of me. <laughs> but I am really pleased with the uh, facial thing. It's really good. It works good for her and for me. So I'm quite happy with it. I'm impressed. So I'm hoping this one I'm going to be impressed just as much. So I'm going to open it up and I think see what they got. It says it's new but I think it's been out just as long as the other one has. And uh, so I was seeing, I, I haven't seen anybody doing these, not saying anybody has. I'm sure they have on YouTube, but I I didn't notice. I noticed the other one, but not this one. So you got to get this thing out of the box someday. <laughs> and uh, there you go. So it says it's 18 karat gold plated. Yeah, okay. And uh, gently on all skin types, you can use it. It does have a light, just like the other one has a light. And uh, supposed to use around your eyebrows. That's it. And there's the, the backing of it. Shows you everything. So, anyways, I bought this one at Wally World. It was uh, twenty bucks, I believe, close to twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Yeah, close to twenty dollars. It does give you the battery, which is cool. And it gives you a little brush, just like the other one did. Um, <coughs> To, uh, to clean it. There's your little brush. And um, so you pull it off probably just the same way as you do with the other one. Just pull it off and put your battery in. So just stick the battery in here. It's a pretty color. Yeah, they make them really pretty. At least, you know, for females. It's kind of nice. Now I'm going to pull that off. Oh, cool. And it says, slide gold. Switch up to turn. Just telling you. So it's the same idea, only it's for your eyebrows. You're going to turn the light on just like that. Wow. That's kind of cool. And it's pretty. So if you want, you can always take it with you. Stick it in your purse. Carry both of them. They really should make one for both. That would be cool. With a little case. Yeah, with a little case. That would be cute. And then that way you're not carrying two of them. I mean, you kind of have to carry two, you know. And I like the other one. You, I did a little bit underneath her eyebrow with the other one. I mean, you're not, it, you know, it's a razor. I think you could really do it. Except this one's more pointy than the other one. The other one's more round. So maybe that's why. Okay. I dropped something on the floor. And it's supposed to give you tips on how to um, do the eyebrows. So, hold on. i got to bend down and get it. And I'm going to read it. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Alright, so this is your little, little direction thing. It shows you how to take the battery out and all that. I already knew because of the other one. So, then it gives you tips on what to do for trying to do the eyebrow here. So, um, it says use a clean and complete dry skin with no cream or any cosmetic residue. Pull skin tight and move in small back and forth movements. Motions. If unit begins to slow down, clean head or hair residue. If unit is still running slow, change battery. It is normal for skin to appear red immediately after use due to pressure and fr friction <coughs> applied. So, we're going to try this on my mother. So, we're going to move over here. Here we are. I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer. I got her on the commode here a little bit so I can see. And we got the light going here. So, we see how it works. So, you just pull and you go back and forth. Does that hurt? No. Ooh. Don't get carried away now. <laughs> End up with no eyebrows. 
Let's bring it closer so you can see a little bit more of her eyebrow. There we go. Oh, thank you, me. Oh, you're fine. So you just go back and forth just like that. Are you getting anything off? Yeah. I'm going to do this one. Can you turn just a, a little bit? Uh, there. And I'm trying to make sure I get it in the camera more than anything because that's what it's for. Okay, so you just go up and down. You just keep going back and forth. It's like a vacuum cleaner. Back and forth. Does that hurt? No. Huh. What about above the eyebrow? You want to go above it? Well, there's some hair like up that. There. Yeah. Like go right here? Yeah. yeah, you can do that. Yep, yeah, it's fed that. Now you want me to cut, we just take that little piece off right here, okay? I guess so. Yeah. I think you can get carried away if you don't want well, yourself. Well, you got to be careful, yeah. And I'm good at that because I'll say, oh, I like that piece. And then I, oh, that piece has got to come off. And <laughs> the other piece has got to come off. And before you know it, all the pieces are off. So, yeah. No, it doesn't hurt at all. Yeah. I mean, you don't have a lot, but it's nice. And you probably do in between here. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. There. I used to have more. It, I don't feel it rough either. It feels quite smooth. You feel it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice, eh? Let me do this here. No, don't go carried away. <laughs> Somehow I don't trust her, do you? Yeah, they trust me. Yeah, I take a few seconds. A little rough in the here. You want me to do it in there? In between my eyebrows. Well, relax it. You gotta pull the skin. That better? Yeah. This was the worst job we ever had to do was get my eyebrows plucked. And it was costing me up to forty dollars between the chin and the eyebrows to get done when I went to the beauty shop. So I have for forty dollars I have something that does my chin and something that does my eyebrows and it over and over and over again so mm -hmm. I'm saving money. I don't have to have that glue pulled off my face and you mean waxing <laughs> oh that's awful yeah wow well, but i like the waxing i have done it a few times but it they hurts. say it hurt well it does hurt but i mean they say it's not good for you so anyways you take the little thing off and you can probably see a little bit of the hair in there and you just dump it out in the garbage can and you can use the brush that they gave you here they gave you a little brush Okay. And you can just clean it. Yeah, so. so it's all gone. Okay. The only problem. But you didn't have very much, anyways. But I think it's pretty cool for younger people that do and they. Oh, yeah, especially girls. Want to save money. I mean, don't have the money to go to the beauty place. But I think I like it. I'm going to try it on me right now, and you guys can watch. How are you going to see without your glasses on? Because I'm intelligent. Yeah. I really don't have much either. Because we've plucked for years. Well, I don't like plucking. And oh, it's sore. Oh, that hurts. Then the waxing I did. It hurts. You know, I've done it a couple times and then they say not to. Because they say it can cause it not to grow back right and all kinds of problems. So, I'm like, yeah. I can leave my glasses on and do it. Yeah, I can leave my glasses on and do it. So it works fine. And uh, so, I mean, for me, I'm not going to use it a whole lot. But there. For touch-ups, it's great. Yeah, if you just want to touch up around it and kind of shape it your way. And, you know, I just take it and kind of just use my fingers and kind of arch it the way I want to do it. But the only problem I see is that once you get gray hair, like you see that one little piece right there, then you have to pull it. Because this 
you don't want to take that out because you're going to take half your eyebrow. <laughs> so I do see a problem with that. Um, but for younger people or, you know, people that are get gray hair in their eyebrows, well, it people, might work out fine. And I still have to pluck out that one, but... You could always get a colored pencil and color your gray in your eyebrows. I get them in my eyebrow and I don't get them in my hair. Well, just be thankful. So, anyways, I think I like it. It's, it's cool. I mean, I just see that one problem. So, um, you know. For $20, I think it's well worth it. And it makes a nice gift. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to show you. But I don't see much hair in there. So maybe I didn't have much. But it did. It must have done something. Because it feels smooth. So. Yeah, it does feel nice and smooth. So I like it. And I like how they have the light on there. You know, I have it here so you can see it, not down here. Now the other one, it's okay to have it here because you want to see that, you know. But, um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I I am going to keep it. And uh, you like it? Uh-huh. She likes it, so it'd be good for her. And, uh, yeah. So I always feel better when my eyebrows are trimmed up and they don't look like they're bushy. Well, yeah. I don't like bushing. Sometimes it's... I think it's in right now. I don't know. I don't go with the trend. I do what I want to do. So, that's... Anyways, that's it for now, y'all. Um, oh, it did give me this. And it was like a 10% thing. They didn't give it to me in the other one. I didn't see that. Or I would have used the 10% to buy this one. So, um... But that it's was, in the box. It also has a, um, a website that you can go to. So, that's pretty cool. Anyways, that's it for now. Mike says she's out for now, y'all. Have a good day. Bye.